Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Rex and I'm Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Era. We're doing Season 3, Episode 15, and it's called Nanda Parbat. If I'm saying that wrong, please comment me down in the comment section down below. So, let's just jump right into it. So you have uh, Raza Ghul and Nessa talking, and then we cut to um, the training queens, um, Thea and Oliver, with uh, Malcolm. And then we have a flashback scene where Oliver is interrogated, um, but he's allowed to go, and, you know, they make it sound like he's going to go home and have, let's go home, all that stuff. And then we go back to the present day where Roy and Thea talk, and um, she asks, like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, I've just been a little sleep deprived. I've been sleeping well. And so then we find out that Lance has iced out Laurel because Laurel finally came clean about Sarah. and But he isn't having it. He's just icing her out. He's got to deal with stuff his own way. And then um, Thea finally tells the truth to Laurel, but uh, Laurel doesn't blame her because she understands that it wasn't really her fault. But Laurel talks to Oliver and gets super mad at him because she didn't say anything to um, her about Thea. So she's really pissed off at him. And then Thea, she gets really, she's been a little on the cray cray side. And she decides she wants to set up, set up Malcolm. There's uh, Black Canary, which is really Laurel versus Malcolm. Malcolm honestly beats her because he has had like years and years and years and years and years of training. And then we cut to Nessa goes after him and captures him. And then Oliver goes after him. And then we go to a flashback scene <laughs> where they got set up and it turns out they're not actually going home. They're actually going to get shot at. So I think about to the present day where it's Nessa versus Oliver, and then uh, they get Nessa, and Nessa is held captive. And then Dick and Oliver talk about what's going to happen because they have the uh, his daughter, <laughs> Rosalind's daughter. So that's not great. <laughs> and then um, then we cut to where Felicity block Ray from accessing the server because he's been super sleep deprived. So, um, she's like, I need you to focus and just, I want to ice you out until you actually sleep and eat. So that happened. And then we have Diggle, a uh, Diggle family moment, which is actually a really neat little moment. It's just like them have, like, having dinner and stuff. And it's just like a cute little scene. I really like that. And Thea and Oliver have a little heart to heart moment. And then. Um, she's, he says goodbye to her, and Oliver and Diggle go to Nana Parbat, and then uh, Raza Ghul and Malcolm talk, and then you have Ray and Felicity make out, and then we cut to Oliver and Diggle versus League of Assassins, which is like a crazy fight scene, which is so cool, still. They have the flash scene where Oliver call, um, covers... Maceo's back, like whole family, so they can escape. And then we have the present day where Laurel and Nessa talk about Sarah. And it's like a little nice reminiscing moment and it's trying, well, trying to kind of humanize um, Nessa because usually she's just, for, to me, she's just portrayed as like a, she's kind of like a robot assassin. <laughs> like she doesn't have like any emotions or any stuff, so they're trying to humanize her and make her more, you know, Relatable. And then we cut to Oliver found Malcolm, and Malcolm says it's a trap because he's been tortured a lot. <laughs> so the League of Assassins trap them, and then Oliver and Diggle talk after they kind of wake up and they're like chained together. And then Diggle wants to ask him a question. He's been trying to ask him all episode, but that hasn't happened yet. And so, while they're chained together in this dungeon, Diggle's like, What do you do, best man? And Oliver's like, You're asking me that question now? <laughs> it's like, If we ever get out of here, sure. <laughs> so, uh, I thought that was kind of like a funny moment. And then we have a flashback scene where Oliver and company get separated. 
And um, basically, he gets uh, little Akio, and Tatsu and Maseo have to run for it. And so then we go back to present day where Roy shows Thea how, to, how he deals with his grief. And basically what he does is he actually uh, follows the person that he killed, which was a cop. And so he follows um, the family around and occasionally will pay for their groceries and will just leave, leave money to them and stuff and kind of looks out to um, looks out for them, kind of like a guardian angel type thing. And then um, he says, that's good for you and everything, but that's not how I'm going to be able to deal with this. And then we cut to Felicity and Ray uh, have uh, fun times. Adult fun times. And then um, after that, he finally gets the suit to work and he actually does a test run while uh, Felicity is sleeping in his bed. And then we talk to, then we cut to Thea talks to Nyssa and confesses and lets her go and kind of almost like be begging to be killed, which is kind of crazy. Because like it's not her fault, it's Nakon's fault because he dragged her and told her to do it. And then um and then Roz wants Oliver to take his place because at first Oliver thought he was going to like die and stuff. Because like just let John go, he can kill me, he had nothing to do with this. And he's like, I don't want to kill you, boy. I want you to be the next race. And that's how we leave the episode. So um, I thought this was a really good episode, and it kind of humanizes Nissa a little bit, and then it makes her, like I said, more relatable, like I said earlier. And I really do like that character development and stuff. It was like reminiscing about Sarah and stuff because um, she seemed kind of cold and stuff in season two, but in season three, they're trying, I think, to ease her up a little bit, make her feel more human and stuff. So I kind of like that aspect, and then I I like how um. For funny moment in the in the dungeon, was, that's just funny to me. Like, we be from best man's like we're chained in a dungeon. <laughs> but if we get out of here, sure. And so I thought that was really, really, really funny. And um, I just like this episode. For, um, it was really good. I like the fight scenes. I like the commentary, the banter between everybody, and just the flow of the episode. So I'm going to give us an A-plus episode. It was really good, and I have really nothing else bad. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It was just a really good episode. Um, we're going to have a little bit some... I've been... Well, spoiler alert, I'm on season four right now, and there's some hiccups in that one, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So um, this is going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next episode. I want you to have a super-duper awesome day. Bye, everybody.